What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Energy Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, you texted me. Let me go to my phone and see what he did. I wanted to give you like the the little. I wanted to text it alongside like the audio, like from the Deadpool and Wolverine, and all the characters say, "Let's go." <laughs> you sent me Amazon snags live action Voltron film for like about a few seconds, just like just thinking about what <laughs> is happening right now. Live action. I read the article, Brian. Yeah that you sent in terms of who is doing this. Right? Yeah, there's some cautionary stuff in here, but. That's what I, when I read, when you excited as can be until I read the names. Yeah. Of who's behind it, Brian. Yeah, I agree. That was the most disappointing part, man. Like I started looking to see if there were any job openings. <laughs> so I could be like, yo, this is what you gotta do. <laughs> but Brian, um, so tell us how Amazon got Voltron and what's going on and who's behind this. So this project has been kicking around for a while. Um, obviously, I mean, there's, as we know, there was Thundercats was kicking around for a while. looks like that's finally going to get made by Adam Wingard, who did uh, the Godzilla versus Kong movie. So we've been waiting. We've been asking for Voltron for years. Yeah. Being like, this is the most obvious 80s IP that no one has tried right we tried gi joe's we tried transformers we you know we like i said we're trying thundercats crazy like crazy to me they, they're leaving this they're just sitting there you know and then like along comes movies like pacific rim and like you're just seeing like versions of this where you're like the the real thing is just right there like it, you know Brian, if pacific rim would have been voltron forget about it that movie would have made like five times with me <laughs> And by the way, if Guillermo del Toro was directing live action Voltron, we'd be more, even oh, more excited. What? Okay. So, um, but th the thing that makes me overall excited is who bought it. Because if Amazon bought it through their MGM, they, you know, they own MGM studios now. To me, at the very least, that means this movie will get a real shot. Yeah. Real budget. No expenses spared. It will get real promotion. It will be put in theaters. And so they'll, it's a legitimate attempt yeah, to yeah, do this yeah, in yeah. a way that even if like a Netflix had this, I'd been a little bit suspicious. Oh, yeah. Like, Netflix had they this, really was... go all out to yeah. make this what it should be. Amazon will go all out to put yeah. the money behind this. Yes. Believing that at the end of the day, which I think is right, it's not just about tickets they sell for the theater. It's about the platform. It's, it's the exposure. There's stuff to be done. I would guarantee they will be doing you know netflix has done voltron series in the last mm -hmm. 10 years i guarantee mm -hmm. amazon's going to take that over yeah be like we're going to do this live action thing but we're also going to have a voltron universe where you know maybe maybe the car voltron comes back or whatever you know yeah. they do other things <laughs> now the disappointment <laughs> yeah is the director so they're kind of at the b level here so rawson rawson marshall thurber now he has done big budget but he's mm -hmm. best known as kind of being one of the henchmen of Dwayne Johnson. Oh, Skyscraper, Red Notice. He's Trump one of he, he's one of the Rock's guys. Like yeah. Brad Payton, Ross and Marshall Thurber, like these are the guys who direct. Joan Collette, Sarah, they direct for The Rock. Yeah. So he's the one who's at the moment attached to write and direct this, which in my mind is like kind of a cap on its ceiling. Yeah. You know. Right again, like another one. Like if Gareth Edwards was doing this, I would be like, "What? Like, like could could Voltron win an Oscar? Like, you know?" <laughs> but that's not where we're getting. Yeah, yeah. But we are finally getting Voltron in live action, and it is obviously going to be huge budget, and it's going to be huge. So at the end of the day, I can't be too angry because I waited so long for this. But I do think I just don't want a street fight. Up, go ahead. I don't think it's gonna be that bad because because you know I know I know. You know, we talk about some of the Rocks movies and stuff like that, but the Rocks movies are not Fs either. Street Fighter is an F. Yeah. Zero. You know, the, the Rocks movies are not that bad. They're not good. But that's what I don't want. I don't want, you know, a but not good movie. You no, know, I get it. I get it. <laughs> then, okay. So then, then the flip side would be if Amazon's going to put like rings of power type budgetary stuff behind this movie, can it really be that bad? I, I don't yeah. think so. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. As long as it looks good, 
this is not that complex a story. No, we, we don't need, you know, we, we don't need Quentin Tarantino to write this script. No. <laughs> so, All I want is a scene where they're beating up that dude that's always hanging out with the princess. And then they're beating him up, right? And then the ground starts rumbling. And they're like looking at each other, what's going on? And the dude that beat, got beat up, he's looking at, he's, he, and he starts laughing. And they're looking at him, what the hell, what the hell is that? And he says, the lions. And then you see the lions just, oh my God. <laughs> look, the, the tech is there to make this look oh, amazing. Yeah. There's, no, amazing. There's, there's, there's no excuse for horribleness here. There is no, especially with Amazon and the bucks that they got, they better, Listen, they've built a reputation of putting money behind stuff and making stuff look good. So I, I, I like like you said, I'm not worried about that. Uh, it is, and again, this is not a difficult uh, yeah. movie to make in terms of dialogue and things of that nature. Just get me Prince Lotor, Henry Cavill, and we good. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. Do you want to do this now? Because I've got the I've got a I've got submissions for everyone. But I mean, that's okay. Let me see. Half, half the fun. Half the fun of this movie getting made is who they can get to take some bucks to show up in this. Because this is not, this is an ensemble show. There is no true lead of this show. Yeah. Like you could argue Lotor it's is Lotor. the, you could argue he's the lead of this show. Because the, the team kind of gets divided, gets, they divide the lines. Yeah. Whereas Lotor kind of is the lead bat. But I think if they're smart, they got to get a couple heavyweights to show up in this movie, like real actors to show up and pay will, real dollars to be like, listen, like you get this on the back end. Don't worry, because people gonna around the world are going to be curious to see what this looks like and will want to go back to their childhood the first time form Blazing mm -hmm. Sword and all that mm -hmm. and all that. Oh, happens. my God. So, oh, my God. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like you can't mess this up. The only way you can, can mess really do that is, once in that movie. Go ahead. The only way you can mess this up is if you overthink it. Yeah. Um, but but no, I would like I, so I got two Lotors. Cavill's so the weird thing with the Lotor is Prince Lotor has been done in live action already in the last five years twice. If you look, so okay. Cavill as the Witcher is one. Okay, okay. It's the same hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah, same yeah, attitude. Yeah, yeah. Same, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's the same character. The other one that's happening right now is Matt Smith as Damon Targaryen on yes. House of the Dragon. Yes. Either of those two guys are playing Prince Lotor. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not called that. Yeah. So you get me either one of those to do that. And we, and we we, good. We're already we're already off and running. Um. So again, none of these people will. I don't think will take the role. But I went through. We've gone through the exercise on a couple of these, and I think we agree on a couple of them. So, but I got my new. I got my new lead. I, he's he's hot. I don't think he would take the call. But I want Glenn Powell to be Keith. Nah. No, I want him to be Keith. He is great as a leader, charismatic guy. He just dye his hair black. He's, nah. he's great as Keith. I would, I, I'll tell you who I'd I'd take in. He, uh, think about this for a moment. Uh, the dude in Monarch. He's the brother of the girl. Uh. Oh, the, the the Asian guy? Yeah. As Kintaro? He, That's his name. I don't know yes. what the actor's name is. Yes, oh, you want an Asian cool. lead? Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, we do need a representation somewhere, but no, I, yeah. I don't know. Powell's played too many pilots. He's, he's never going to do it, but yeah. I just think he needs I would take that. the girl, Princess, uh, was his, what's her name? Princess Alora. Alora. I would use the girl from uh, Planet, of the, Planet of the Apes. Uh, yes. So she's actually, I have two, depending on how young you want to make Freya Allen. Fantastic. Yeah. That that's actually one of the two. She actually looks very much like Allura with her face. So I, I do think if they wanted to aim higher, I think Florence Pugh could rock it. I don't know if she would take the call, but I think she would be great. She has the spirit. Allura yes. is pretty feisty. But the thing I think is Freya Allen looks like Allura, but she's a little softer, like personality wise. I know that, I know that Siri gets a little feisty in the Witcher, but I think that character is going to be pretty tough in this series would be my guess. So those are my, those are my two. It's funny you said Freya Allen. Cause I, I had that. I think she's a, I think she's like a hidden gem. I'm waiting for Marvel or DC to kind of make a push for her to do something. Um, Sven. 
I had a so I don't know. He doesn't really look like Sven, but I kind of had Bill Skarsgård for Sven, like a goof, kind of like a, yeah. kind of a weird looking guy who sounds weird. Sven was always a strange character to me. So, <laughs> from I would for Hunk, I would be uh, Jacob would Battle a chance. Jacob Battleon from Who's that? Ned, Ned Leeds from Spider Man. Yes, yes, I would have him read though because I would have yeah, him. But read, that, I don't, that, that's yeah, that's who I think it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The other ones I'm not sure, but in terms of the villains, Brian oh, certainly Pidge. no Pidge is no, Pidge is number five from Umbrella Academy, one hundred percent. Yes, one hundred percent. Aiden Galax. Yes. yes, Lance yes. is the one I think. So Lance, to me, like that's where I was like, I don't think that they'd have Keith and Lance both be Caucasian <laughs> in this day and age. So then I was like, because initially I was like, they could do a Top Gun riff and just have Glenn Powell and Miles Teller be Keith and Lance, but they, <laughs> that's not going to work. So I think they would have to flip flip lance that would be my thought i didn't really have a great one i it's funny like you had mentioned jay ellis for hal jordan i was like is he too tall to be lance i don't know but he also like kind of thought he i thought he could pull it off because lance yeah. is a little more of a hothead um yeah in the show um i was thinking evan bach moss moss Bac Bac yeah 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 see the thing is the other thing is how old do you want the voltron force to be right they're drawn i would want young. Them young yeah I would yeah so young. that's why i was like i didn't want anyone above like 35 to be kind of in the in the cast um to be that of those those five i guess if you will but hagar you already know my pick quantum mania that girl the one that had her planet or whatever oh <laughs> she, again she was frightening as that lady <laughs> that's what hagar is frightening and she just creates road beast i don't know how many voltrons you can do brian because you it's like doing thundercats you can't do a lot of thundercats because how i like all i want is one thundercat movie right where everybody in the theater is waiting for that thunder 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 it happens a, a couple of times in the beginning but he doesn't get to the hole he gets <laughs> <laughs> you know he get he builds the anticipation it has to be like avengers you have yeah, to wait for I that you. moment you can't do it, it all the time because so, after a while it's like so also what it was okay so you that was that was your that was your hagar part of me wanted angelina jolie to be hagar <laughs> I was like, she would never do it but i was like that, that might be fitting um i had lee pace as zarkon so he was ronin uh in in the guard in the guardians of captain marvel movie because zarkon to me is like he's big he's, he's, old, he's older though but it's all makeup though he yeah, looks like a yeah. creature so to yeah, me the yeah, age yeah, of the actor yeah. lee pace is six foot five and the, i think the character is important that he be bigger than Lotor, okay. um, and if you're gonna choose Cavill, who's quite large and six foot one, like you need someone to tower over. I'll see so I, and has a and Zarkon to me had a really deep voice. Like the voice is really what carries it. Pace has a really bass voice, so mm -hmm. I, I like that. And then okay. I had, I, I mean, talk about I'm playing. I'm just playing by the numbers here. But the Quran, that old guy that mm -hmm. mentors them in the uh -huh. castle that's the one you're talking about getting yes yes up. yes 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 to me, that's tailor made for liam neeson or gary oldman if they'll if they're willing to do it like, it's like the classic like old man mentor character who just kind of is like yoda and sort of sage guy who like hangs out in the castle but the way he the, the, the way I, I look at him he's he i always remember him i know he probably didn't wear one like an ascot <laughs> Well, he always has a collar up. Yes. Yeah, he's always got like a tr like a trench coat with a collar up. Like I like the dude from Game of Thrones, the first one, the one that played Bruce Wayne in Titans. Oh, um, Ian Glenn. Yes. Yon Yen yes. Glenn, I think it's yes. Ian Glenn. Yes. Jorah Ian, Mormont. Yes. Jorah Mormont. That's a, yes. That'd be I, a good one. I yes. can do it. That's a yes. good pick. I like that. Because the thing is, yeah, they got the money to pay dues, but after, no, it won't be all. Big yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, pick pick some dudes that are you know. On good shows and have that look and and and, and, and let him read, but this is a movie that you, you should miss this you up. should miss you can't miss the movie, but you should miss some of the dialogue because you're cheering so loudly in the theater. Yeah, it's like I don't really care too much about the dialogue. <laughs> I I just care that you set everything up correctly. That's all. Just set it up correctly for and the introduction of the lions because the Brian. Voltron has to be for me, Brian. Last probably twenty minutes, twenty five minutes, maybe. Yeah. Oh, if you if you he he should not show he should not show up till the last act of this movie, and that should leave you wanting more, and that's how you make a sequel. Yes. But 
this is also my other key note for them is do not pull a Michael Bay Transformers on the designs. To me, Voltron was a perfect toy. Yeah. Like a perfect design. Just make them as they were. Make the lions look exactly as they were in the 80s show. It will work just fine. The robot's face is great. Sword is great. Don't change it. Don't modernize it. Yeah. 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 But they were the beast, the beast, you can do anything, right? The beat, like in the show, they did anything. You, I don't care. Wh- whatever you want to do with the road beast is fine to me. That you know, that you can have all the fun you want with, but not yeah. Voltron. If yeah. I see like some like, yeah, then what is this? We're calling it Bolt. Like, it's like that's what I said. The Transformers movie, it's unforgivable. It's like we're, we're calling this Megatron, we're calling it Starstream, and they don't look anything like yeah. characters, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't they can't mess, they can't mess with the design, the colors, none of that. No. And and you're well, right. There needs to be some good scenes of action with just the lions. Critical. Don't skip that step. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. And give me the full when they go in those magical tubes that somehow take them all around the planet in like <laughs> two seconds. Like, give me the whole ride with the keys and everything. Yeah, man. And uh, <laughs> take me to 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 that planet, and we gonna be okay. Um, oh, that's the other thing. You're a hundred percent right. If this show sets foot on Earth, I'm out. Oh this no, I, out, I, I'm out. It, 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 it. <laughs> no. If if I see like, hey, our entry to the Voltron universe is like some kids in the neighborhood growing up in Queens, like no, like no. I am so out, and and I'm gonna be <laughs> boisterous about it too. <laughs> We will be domestic. <laughs> People will be fired right and left if that if that's the way they go. Yeah, yeah, man. He's defender of the universe, not of Earth. Like, yeah, he's like, yo, why you gotta bring me back here again, yo? I know where I'm at. I got enough troubles here. <laughs> anyway, oh, they, this but, is uh, certainly Brian. By the way, first trailer for this. Oh my god. <laughs> that, I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know this is the problem with the trailer brian that they're gonna show <laughs> yeah that's the thing is they can't, you know? they can't show the full robot you're right they shouldn't they got to give you a tease or something without giving it away but I, I, it's hard to do that i don't know how you do that i mean they did it with godzilla i guess the godzilla movie they really didn't show him that much you could do it with like the, the lions only like showing like the eyes just lighting A-line. up. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They could do little things here to make it. Uh, yeah, you don't need three trailers for this movie if you're smart. Like, nah, you should nah. not be over, you know, over nah. promoting. Oh, you, you over promote it, but you don't promote it that way. Yeah. Nah, I think the, I mean, I'm, it's, it's, it's quite astonishing to me that this hasn't gotten a lot of uh, attention, Brian. Not really, I feel not, like, yeah. Not a lot of people are talking about this, and it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, they, that's all right. When they when they bring a teaser to Hall H, at some everybody's gonna comic, go crazy. Then it's then it's on. Everybody's gonna go <laughs> crazy, and we're gonna be like, "Told? What did you expect? <laughs> Amazon? They make everything as as top tier as they possibly can, Brian. You know, obviously you don't you don't have the name behind it that gives you a lot of faith in." in terms of the story maybe but this is the type of movie that you don't really need a, a really scott on it you know what i'm saying you don't no. need no you know, i would be yeah. yeah i would be perplexed if it was like christopher nolan's doing a poltron movie i'd be like what like why yeah you know yeah. No, it's not yeah. for, it's not for those that's what del toro because he had done part of me wonders if del toro really wanted to do voltron and like couldn't that, would that be... movie is like trending pretty darn close to some of the ideas of Ultron. It makes me wonder. Yeah, man. I would ask that. If I would, if we were to get him on our show and ask him five questions, that would be one of them. (laughs) But let us know in the comment section below if you guys have caught up with the news that Amazon snags live action Voltron for its film. What are your expectations? What is it that you want to see? Uh, we can only see one form, blazing, blazing sword. We can't see too many of those. All form the head, yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. I'm telling you, that should be screamed in unison in the 
Spears, Brian. A hundred percent. Because they do the whole thing where it's like form, feet, yeah. and arms. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. It's perfect. Mm. I mean, because that's why you're right. It's the same with Thundercats, right? It's sort of omen, sight beyond sight. There's still these oh phrases God. in those shows that are just epic. Yeah, man. You know how many times they did that? So, this is short of Omen, Sight Beyond Sight, and Thundercast. How many Thundercast, Thundercast hold did we get? <laughs> Hundreds. <laughs> and then, and honestly, we didn't really care too much. We just liked the, the this, uh-oh, is about to go down. And yep. we got it. And for the theaters, we can only get one of those, probably. And I think Thundercast is harder. I actually think it's harder because because the animation required the this effects required to make the characters look move. tactile and real and yeah. move well yeah. to me is harder than what's required in Voltron. Certainly. Cats mess it up for everybody. <laughs> but let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of Voltron and this announcement that Amazon is gonna do it. Uh listen, when it gets officially announced as to when a, a date or trailer we told you that this was happening. We've been wanting this for years, and finally they've heard our call, Brian. <laughs> so let us know in the comment section below who you, you cast as uh, some of the characters for the Voltron Force. How would you see this movie play out? If it's on Earth, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Because, uh, you know, that's the rumor, Brian, with the He-Man movie, Brian. They oh, no, they're going come- back to Earth? That's what I read. It's some craziness. Some, some the sword gets lost and is on. It's they like, did that in the Dolph Lundgren movie. They did that in Thor. <laughs> What's wrong with Eternia? Eternia is a cool place. I always said, if you did Eternia the way you did Pandora, we're good. And by the way. <laughs> That's the most profitable filmmaker of all time. And where does he not set foot? Earth. He goes away. Doesn't he builds a be. world. He be, That's the point. It's an escape to another place. Use your freaking imagination. Hollywood is so frustrating <laughs> sometimes. Oh, man. I can just hear it now. We got to keep this cheap. So let's put this on uh, Brooklyn somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> all right. But let us know in the comments below what you guys think. And uh, remember to hit that like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Ranger Report. The show goes on! Yeah!